Hi, uh, I decided to do uh, a short extra video uh, because um, when I did the my uh, tutorials for working in the round, um, I started with uh, row zero and I made a slip knot and put it on my hook and then I started crocheting in the, in the round. I, I made a circle and closed it and uh, well I mentioned it and you see here that little gap well this time it's a quite small this gap but I told you that you can uh, well ignore it and then uh, use your yarn end when finishing your ends and then you can kind of hide it and uh, go around it and make it smaller but uh, there is also something uh, there are two things that you can uh, can do and something uh, that I do often here is I take out that little slip knot here at the start well of course it depends on the yarn that you're using and if you have made a really tight knot but with this yarn it can uh, be done fairly easy and so I then uh, pull out that little piece of yarn here at the start so it's a bit fiddly and then you can simply pull on the yarn and you see that it has closed now and then you can finish your yarn end but there's also another way that you can uh, use and that is by use, using a way of setting up your uh, crocheting uh, without using a slip knot that was something I saw on a course uh, from a designer that also uh, creates uh, uh, crochet uh, clothes and well actually <laughs> I hardly use it and it's actually so simple to do because what you do is you make a loop like this and then you put it on your hook and then bring the yarn to this side again and then simply start crocheting one two three four five six seven eight and then you can close around and uh, then you can pull on that first bit of yarn uh, if you need to so that's another way that you can use to to start your first uh, row 